Alright guys, welcome back. Um We're gonna talk to the mayor. Um see what this investigation he wants me to work out and how this is gonna work. Wow, now isn't this a gorgeous place? Check out that crazy expensive looking chandelier. Calm down, Estelle. It looks like this is the mayor's place, alright. Now I just wonder if she's home. Oh, do we have visitors? Welcome to the boss mayor's residence. May I ask who you are, please? We're with the Bracers Guild. The mayor made a request to the guild, and we've come here to inquire about the details. Well, I have heard from the mayor that we would be expecting you. However, I am sorry to inform you that the mayor is currently out at the moment. She has gone to worship at the chapel. When you expect her back, sir. Well, let me see. Actually, I would imagine her to be making a return any moment now. Well, we're kinda in a hurry to meet her. Do you think it would be alright to call on her at the chapel? Well, well, I don't wish to inconvenience you. Don't worry. It would probably save the both of us some trouble. But if you don't mind me asking, what does the mayor look like? Like the typical wealthy person? Big hat with feathers in it? Dripping gemstones from every pore? Feathers? Gemstones? From every... What? Um... How... Colorful, but quite off the mark, I assure you. How would I describe her? Should I say she looks splendid, or should I say beautifully mature? If she could just find the right man, then I could retire in peace. Huh? Uh, never mind. I was just thinking out loud. Ah, uh, yes, this may help the mayor. Has a maid accompanying her. That might be the easiest way to find her. The mayor's being accompanied by a maid, huh? That sounds easy enough to find in a crowd of people. Let's, let's hurry and head over there. Let's do it. Chapel! Mayor? No, well, that's maid. Oh, there you are. You're the maid we've been looking for. And you are? And you are? Estelle, that wasn't very polite. My apologies. We're with the Bracer Guild. We're looking for the mayor, so we can confirm the details of a job she requested. Oh, I see. Please, let me introduce myself. I am her maid, Lila. Or Lila. I see to the mayor's daily needs. Being served hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in are really different. So where's the mayor, if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's playing hooky from her religious duties. Huh? I'm sure she's probably in the middle of inspecting the situation in the market. She took off after telling me to pray for her too. I don't know how I should say this, but the mayor seems like she has quite a unique personality. <laughs> well, doesn't she sound interesting? Even if she weren't the mayor, I'd be kind of intrigued. There's no doubt she's a capable person, although she does have a bit of an unrestrained aspect to her at times. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet her right now. I don't mean to sound impolite, but would you mind waiting at her residence? I will let her know you're there. Um, I don't know how I feel about going back there empty-handed. Would it be alright if we came along with you instead? Come with me to meet the mayor? Well, I guess it's okay. Let's make our way over to the boss market then. Boss market! Wow, this place is really huge. I wonder where the mayor is. Well, she does stand out in a crowd, so I'm sure she'll find her way. We'll find her right away. Oh, just as I thought. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Trying to force up the price of f food at a time like this by buying it all up. You're not fit to be merchants in both. But, ma'am. We were just thinking about how to increase sales for the boss market in general. I don't want to hear any more from you. If it were other products, it would be a different story. But making undue profit on necessities will lead to negative publicity for the market. Return these goods to their original prices at once. Uh, Alright. We'll do as you say. Now, I don't doubt your passion for the boss market, but I want you to understand this. Commerce, when you get right down to it, is the establishing 
the established relationship of trust between people. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you can become wonderful merchants in both. Y yes ma'am. We'll do our best. Phew. Madam. Lila, so you came, huh? I'm sorry you had to see this that side of me. Actually, you did a wonderful job as always. But never mind that. These people are here to see you. Please come back home immediately. Oh, that emblem is... Could you be the bracers I requested? Yep, that's us, but... So does that mean that you're... <laughs> Forgive me for not introducing myself. My name is Maybell. I'm the owner of this market and the mayor of the Bose region. This restaurant looks super expensive. Are we really going to have a meeting here? I often use this place for business meetings. The food is quite good, too. I tell you what, though. I had heard the mayor of Bose was a woman. But I never imagined you would be this young. Based on looks alone, I would guess that you're only four or five years older than me. Actually, I still feel like I'm nothing more than an unworthy successor to my father. My late father was the previous mayor, and all I did was inherit the rights to the post market and the political foundation, which he set up. That's a rather unvarnished self-evaluation, if I've ever heard one. After all, I'm just the daughter of a businessman, so there's no sense in getting high ahead about that. But anyway, would it be alright to go over the details of my request with you again? Sure, that'd be fine. Well. What I would like to ask that, that you do is investigate the disappearance of the missing airship and bring closure to the incident. I am of the opinion that bracers would bring about much more desirable results concerning this incident than the army is currently producing. The reason being, we're not fighting a war. We're trying to find answers and solve a mystery. Well, I for one would be honored, but don't you think that you're overrating us just a bit? Nah, just call it the businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is, an influential businessman was aboard the airliner that disappeared. In addition, if the Royal Army continues to keep the Bose airspace as a no-fly zone, business is going to suffer. And just when business had been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration, too. I see. So this is an economic appeal, right? Yes, and it's something which I can't trust to be left up to the Army alone. So what do you think? Will you accept my request for your help in the matter? Well, we have our own reasons for wanting to investigate the incident, and we'd like to accept the job, but the Army has actively been trying to exclude bracers from anything having to do with the incident. So I don't suppose you could pull the mayor card for us, could you? Maybe show the Army who's running this show? Excluding bracers, huh? This must have something to do with General Morgan, then. That man has disliked bracers from the beginning. So you know who the General is, May Maybell? He was a friend of my late father's. Tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. So, I may just be able to do something for you. Meaning? Lila. Yes, madam? Lila produced a sheet of paper and a fountain pen from her pocket and handed them to Mayor Maybell. I guess this should be sufficient. Here, please take this with you. What's this letter for? It's a letter of request to General Morgan. It is to inform him of my request for information about the incident as the official responsible for the region. I think this should be enough to get some information out of the army. I see. But I wonder if that bracer hating general will even meet with us at all. I think it would be a pretty safe bet as long as you had your identities. You would probably be best served by saying that you are messengers for the mayor. I don't know if I like the sound of that. It feels like we're lying or something. It's not lying. We'd just not be telling him everything. Since this is a time-sensitive situation, I think we should be practical about it. I guess you're right, Joshua. By the way, where do we need to go to meet General Morgan? There's a fort called the Hocking Gate on the international border to the north of Bose. You should be able to find the General there. Alright, everyone. I'm counting on you. 
You just leave everything to us. If we found out anything, we'll come and let you know. I'll be looking forward to some good news. Goodbye and have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Alright, let's get going, shall we? The Hacking Gate is at the end of the Elson Road, Ison Road, to the north of the East Coast Highway. In short, we need to head out the East Gate and then turn north thereafter, right? Alrighty then, Hocking Gate, here we come. Now I need to get to the Hock to the uh, the Hocking Gate or the Eisen Road to be more exact to finish off a quest too. So this bodes in my favor. This was the last quest on the side mission list that I had done because I need to get to the Hocking Gate to do it or get through the Hocking Gate, which I should be able to now. And you are? Wait, weren't you the Bracers Guild with the Bracers Guild? <laughs> Too bad. Not today. Today we're here on official business. This is Mayor Mabels. The mayor has requested that we come and speak with General Morgan about the status of the search. As you can see, this document is official. But if you don't want to let us through, I'm sure you, you'll be hating life later. Um, I guess there's nothing we can do but let you through. Are you serious about this? Don't you know, Mayor Mabel is the one in charge of the entire region. You can't just ignore that. I guess you're right. Alright. We'll grant you permission to pass, but make sure you don't cause any problems. Whatever happens, never forget that we share a border with the Empire. Yeah, yeah, we got it already. Alright then, let us through. Yay. Yeah, these are the guys I want. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and then, um... And go report it, and then we'll be back. Okay, uh... So, I turn that in. Oh, we're at the Erebonian border. Hawking Gate. It, this is the Hawking Gate? It's freaking huge! Of course it's huge. It acts as the sole entrance to the Empire and is the rampart that protects Liberal from foreign threats. After it was destroyed in the war ten years ago, a much more robust wall was built in its place. Standard military reaction, bigger equals better. Which means that beyond this point is no longer liberal. Yeah. It's the territory of the Erebonian Empire, which stands beneath the emblem of the, gold, the Golden Stallion. The Erebonian Empire. Well enough staring for one day. Let's go meet with General Morgan. There's some barracks right there to the side of the gate. Maybe we'll find him there? Okay, let's go. Before that, I want you to remove those bracer emblems you've got pinned on your chest. Things won't be pretty if General Morgan sees those. Oh, I forgot all about that. Somehow I feel all weird doing this. Yeah, there's something that just doesn't feel right about this. <laughs> That's proof that you've started adjusting to being a bracer. Yeah, it feels weird to take it off, because we just want to be a bracer forever. Uh... Hello. <laughs> what a surprise. This is my first time eating liberal cooking, but it was rather delectable. Well, I'm glad you liked it. If you head to town, there's a number of other places where you can eat great liberal cooking as well. Anyway, enjoy your trip. That I will do, believe me. If this is the kind of food I can get in a border dive like this, then I truly am in for a feast elsewhere in this land. Well, excuse me for having my bar here on the outskirts of the country. Anyhow, how about a glass of wine? I know it's not high-end exactly, but the taste is worth the price. Hmm, well then, maybe I will. Do you think this guy is... He looks like a traveler from the Empire, if you ask me. He does. He looks like someone that's going to be important, though, by the way he's... You know, they bother to draw him a face. <laughs> we won't worry about him, though, for the moment. Where's this little barracks at? Oh, over here. How in the world did you guys get through? The barricade hasn't been lifted on the Eisen Road yet. We came here on an errand for Mayor Maybell from Bose. Do you think you could get us in to see General Morgan? Well, oh, that's understandable. In that case, I could definitely get you in to see the general, but unfortunately, he's out at the moment. 
He's actually spearheading a number of searches right now. Looks like our timing was bad. You don't happen to have an idea when he might return, do you? Hmm, I think he'll be back sometime today. There's a bar in the, that rest stop over there. Why don't you wait there for him? I'll let you know when he gets back. The bar? You mean the place where we were just at? Why is there a bar in a place like this? Obviously because this is the border with the Empire. The screening process for those entering and leaving the country is really strict, so there are a lot of travelers who have to wait quite a bit. That makes a lot of sense in that case. It's understandable that you would need facility facilities like an inn in a bar. Well then, we'll take you up on your suggestion and wait over at the bar. Off to the bar. Good day to you all, my fine friends. You appear to be citizens of Liberal, but may I ask you if you're traveling to the Empire? Nope, we're just here on an errand. We're not traveling to the Empire. You appear to be a citizen of Erebonia, yourself. What about you? Are you here to visit the Liberal Kingdom? Huh, I'm glad you asked. I'm indeed a visitor in Liberal, both for work and for pleasure. And you? You say you're running an errand. But I can see your true colors. I know exactly who you are. H who we are? Indeed. You're bracers, no? How'd you know? We removed our bracer emblems. Wait, are you trying to tell us that you're in the same profession? It's true that there are guild branches in the Empire, but actually, I'm not a bracer. I just know several people in the guild, that's all. And there's an air about you that reminds me of them, so I just thought I'd ask. Those are some excellent deductive reasoning skills you got. I don't think an amateur could have picked us out of a crowd like that. Are you sure you're a traveler? <laughs> Please, don't look at me with such suspicious eyes. Those cold, flickering eyes of amber. Just like a glass of exquisite brandy. You just make me want to kiss you and hold you in my arms. Oh god. What? You're a bold one, aren't you? Wait a minute, are you one of those men who likes other boys? I just can't help myself when I see something beautiful standing before my eyes. Daughters of serenity. Sons of elegance. Supernal melodies and cleansing landscapes, masterpieces, and stories to move the soul, and last but not least the most exquisite in food and drink. For things such as these are those which pique my interest. So you're a pervert, just like I thought. Yep, definitely a pervert. How dreadful. It is that genius is misunderstood in every generation. I feel as if my delicate glass heart is about to be broken. You, with your magnificent black hair, please comfort me in my time of need. I'm going to have to pass. You've already scarred me for life as it is. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Josh. I have heard strange conversations in my day, but this one is worth remembering. The look on that kid's face. <laughs> hey, you there. Oh, it's the soldier from earlier. The general has just returned. I just spoke to him about the matter and he said he'll meet you now. Really? Yeah, so come to the barracks with me immediately. Wow, that was much quicker than I thought. Yeah, now at least maybe we'll be able to find out what's going on. Okay then, let's be off, shall we? Wait, wait, what? It, why is he following us? What are you following us around for? Your timing is excellent. You didn't miss a beat. And exiting behind us seemed almost natural. Scarily so. Ha! You noticed! Everything about you all just seemed so inter interesting. I thought I'd take a gander. Please don't mind me. Carry on, my good gent and mademoiselles. Of course we're going to mind. Now get sh Now get, you! Shoo! Shoo! Scrooge! <laughs> Who was that guy? Seriously, what was his deal? He's not normal, that's for sure. Getting rid of that weirdo was probably better not only for your ourselves, but a service for the world at large, too. Now let's hurry and meet with the general. I have a feeling we haven't gotten rid of that guy. <laughs> 
I could hear some arguing. Was there some kind of problem with another traveler? N no, nothing big like that. That aside, could you let us meet with the general? Yeah, he's inside. His office is the last door on the left. Make sure you don't go wandering around in other places when you're not permitted. Yay, wander! <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'm gonna explore a bit before we meet him. See you in a second. All right. The end of the hall. The end of the hall on the left. Looks like this is the general's room. Oh wait. Okay. I thought that they would force me in. Cells. All right. Let's go. Knock. All right. Here goes nothing. Are you here on behalf of Miss Maybell? That's right. Very well. Come inside. Thank you for seeing us. I'm glad that you came. My name is Morgan. I have been tasked with guarding the Hawken Gate by Her Majesty, Queen Alicia. It's an honor to meet you, sir. We are all here on behalf of Mayor Mab Maybell. Please pardon our intrusion during such a busy time. There's no need to apologize. I've known Maybell since she was but a child. I couldn't imagine ignoring her requests, much less one from the mayor. Alright then, would you please read this first? Hmm. So it's about the missing airliner, is it? Under ordinary circumstances, that information would be strictly confidential. But considering this is a request coming from her, I'll tell you everything I know. Sweet. Why are you happy about something that doesn't concern you? Crap, I should have kept my mouth shut. The mayor appears quite distraught over the situation, and so we've wanted to do anything we can to assist her. I see. Well, I'm glad to hear that she has been blessed with some good people around her. Let me get right down to things and explain the status of our search efforts. Please do. The airliner Linde disappeared on its way to Roman after taking off from the Bose landing port. Presently, we have units searching all areas of the region, but we have yet to come up with anything. So what you're saying is the possibility of the incident being caused by monsters or an accident is fairly slim, right? If an airship of that size had crashed, it likely would have been discovered in the initial search efforts. Yes, that's exactly right. In fact, the flight route between Bose and Rowling goes over some planes that allow a commanding view of the land. And of course, the probability of the airliner going down in v Valeria Lake or the ocean is extremely low. Boy, am I relieved to hear that that it's probably not a worst case scenario like that. So if those have been ruled out, then that leaves the door open to the possibility that the airship could have been taken, right? Which makes things which makes me think that the only remaining motive must be the loot, the cargo, or demand a ransom for the hostages. In other words, a hijacking, right? Also, considering the geographical conditions, it could have been a covert operation carried out by the Imperial Army. And that would be really big news if that were the case. What's the matter, General? I was just thinking that the quiet... That's quite an, an impressive assessment for some civilians. We also considered the possibility that the Imperial Army was involved, so we have enforced strict regulations on the flow of information. An international incident, if taken lightly, could result in another war. War. But thanks to the small mercies of Ideos, the possibility for another conflict disappeared early this morning. A certain organization sent the letter to the royal family and Orbel Ship Co. claiming responsibility and demanding a ransom for the passengers. This organization goes by the name of the Kapua family. The Kapua family? It, it couldn't be who I think it is, could it? It certainly appears to be that way. The Sky Bandits who have been operating in the shadows in the Bose region and are led by three siblings at their head. I take it you've heard of them? Not only have we heard of them, we just had a run-in with them in Roland. I just can't believe those good-for-nothing thieves have managed to create such a big incident here in Bose. Estelle! Oh god. 
<laughs> Oops. You had a run-in with them in Roland? I had heard that, the that some of their gang had shown up in Roland region, but... I think he's on us. Yeah, because of you and your big mouth. I see now. I thought the way you were able to analyze the situation was strange for more... for mere civilians. But I never would have guessed that a girl and a couple of kids like you were bracers. Who, who are you calling kids? Just for the record, Mayor, Ma Mayor Maybell did in fact request that we come here and talk to you. Silence, deceivers! Get in here, men! He looks pr pretty pissed. So this is how a hard-nosed military man acts, eh? What's the matter, General? Did these visitors try to pull anything funny? These bracers need to be shown the door. Throw them out immediately. Ouch. Just what is your problem, old man? Trying to brush off, brush us off like bugs. <laughs> You're no different. Hiding your identities so you could try and finagle some information out of me. It's because you pull underhanded actions like that, bracers can't be trusted. Just where do you get off calling it finagling? It's your own fault since you didn't share information with the guild to begin with. Nonsense. Who in their right mind would leave an incident this big in the hands of a mere civilian group? I swear, of all the stupid things Mabel could have tried to pull. Hiring a bunch of kids like this and getting in the way of our search party. How about you cut the crap, General? Why do you think we've had to come all the way from Roland to begin with? It's because when it comes down to it, you military morons can't do your jobs. What did you just say? Holy cow. Scare is really pissed all right. For the past few months, you, you've known about the string of burglaries, which seems to be work of the Sky Bandits, right? And who knowing full well, it was them dumped the workload onto the guild instead of looking into it themselves, like they should have, huh? And now the second the incident happens, you get on your high horse with an attitude. Yet you've got nothing to show for it. No hostages, or even the location of this missing airliner. Don't you think that's an embarrassment to the entire kingdom? <laughs> Silence, girl! The military is an organization that runs on discipline and does not take action on a whim. Unlike a group I know of, who didn't think ahead and let the Sky Bandits escape. So enough with your insolence. So you're really looking for a fight, aren't you? How sad it is to see such discord. <laughs> Strife brings nothing to be born, but only extends the barren wilderness within our hearts. Let me sing a requiem for you all, one to soothe your parched souls. A gentle yet wistful tune to bathe your brittle spirits and cause the deserts of your hearts to bloom. Brightly shooting stars, leaving trails in the skies. Like a guiding light, they show me the way to your eyes. This yearning passion tears from my heart in twain. And the cruel moon mocks my pain. If this fleeting dream shall never be A single wound will remain In my heart for all to see Our passionate first and final kiss Your tears to me are an amber bliss oh God! Let us immure this eternal love. Serenade in you, Joshua. Ha! <laughs> 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 it looks like you all understood what I was trying to get across. What is it that is most precious above all? That's love and peace, baby. <coughs> I... I think it's about time for the search party to be returning with their reports. Th th that's right, General. 
I should get back to my duties and make sure you don't let these kids in again. Oh, and cancel any further checks on the travelers along the Eisen Road. Having these kids around any longer would just be an eyesore. By the way, sir. He ran away. I wish we could escape. He's still right behind us, isn't he? <laughs> no matter which country you visit, military men lack romanticism. But you lot, on the other hand, appear to appreciate my aesthetic sense. Y you know, maybe we should get going ourselves. Y yeah, good idea. We had a bit of trouble, but we did manage to get some information. After we head back to Bos, how about we think about our future plan of attack? <laughs> hmm? Where are you going? Wait for me! I, I mean, please, wait for me! Let me try and introduce my inter introduce myself again. I'm Olivier Olivia Lenheim, a wandering bard and musician by trade. As you already know, I'm an Erebonian touring your fair liberal. I'm Estelle, and now wait a minute. Why do we have to introduce ourselves to you? Easy, Estelle. He did intercede for us back there. I'm Joshua, and I'm Scarazard. Things were getting pretty heated. I'm glad you stepped in before something really bad happened. Let me just say thanks. Ha! Huh, you've got nothing to thank me for. I only did what any person who loves beauty and peace would have done. However, if you insist, how about going out on a date with me for a day? I'm going to have to pass on that. First of all, I don't have that sort of free time. That's too bad. Alright then, I guess I'll accept Joshua as a substitute. What do I have to do with any of this? Please don't involve me in your questionable humor. Well, that's odd. I didn't mean it as a joke. Saying that makes you even more questionable. Now just a minute. How come you didn't invite me on a date? You? Um, I don't know how to put this, but... You're a bit lacking in the sexy department. You might want to think about taking a lesson or two from your friend here. <laughs> well, excuse me for not being sexy. And... So what do you mean by saying I should take a few lessons from Joshua? C calm down, Estelle. I think you're cute enough just the way you are. Though I guess it's true. You are a, a bit lackluster in the sexy category. W what did you just say? Oh, good grief. Anyway, like I said before, we're busy. I'm sorry there's not a better way to thank you, but we've got to get going. Hmm, then how about you take me along with you to the city of Bos? This is my first time in Libro, after all, and I'd like to uh, request... I would like to request a guide. Well, if that's all you want, then I don't mind. Scarrad! Not just a second! It's the least we can do. And we've headed... We're headed to the same place anyway. Plus, acting as a guide is one of Abrace's many duties. Alright, I guess we're stuck with him until then. But what if he tries to sink his poisonous fangs of lust into Joshua? Uh, Estelle? Don't you worry, Joshua. I'll save you from his perverted attentions if he tries anything funny. What is it exactly that you think he'll try? Please don't refer to me like I'm some sort of fero ferocious beast. I'd rather that you call me a hunter of love. Even love stealer wouldn't be that bad of a title, either. <laughs> Are you right in the head? So how about it? Everyone, shall we leave for boss? I'm counting on you all to get me there safely. Now let us be off. Who died and made you leader? Hey, wait a minute. You. I'm not done warning you about the grisly fate that awaits you if you sully Joshua's innocence. Oh, God. We got a new party member, though. What level is he? 13. I don't know if it's, it's made to be a joke, but if not, I mean, we got ourselves bisexual character, which is not really seen often. Um, he's not a bad level. I'm gonna end this here, though. Uh, thanks for watching. We got ourselves an orbital gun user. He shoots people in the face. I'm tempted to use him in battle at least once. So let's battle this thing before I end it.
just so I can show him off a bit. Uh, these things are strong. Do not like them. They have a lot of HP. Flicker. Got a good range on him. Which is cool. Flicker. It's cool that Joshua has a, a sort of long range hit now. I might consider leveling here a bit, maybe, I don't know. Depending on what they give us, these things, because they're strong, so I think they give you like at least above 20 experience. Which is very good if they do give that, I don't remember though. Try quick draw. Got him. <laughs> Enjoy the show. And I only give you two? Yeah, we're too powerful for this place. But yeah, he's an orbital gun user, that's pretty much what he does. Um, leave a like, subscribe, I really appreciate it. Helps me out, and I will see you all in the next part. Bye!